Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more UFC 2 career mode. My name is Brendan Plays, and it is Lim versus Plays in the Ultimate Fighter Final. This is it, the one to win, the biggest fight in Plays' career thus far. It is all or nothing, it is the Ultimate Fighter Final, and we are in front of the big stage, in front of a packed house. The pressure could not be on anymore. The pressure is high. Can we pick up the victory? Here's a few highlights Jeez. of uh, what to expect here in the UFC. Be great if we can try and replicate some of that here tonight in this fight. So we get ourselves ready. This is it. A big, big fight and a big, big win is required. And here we are. We have Ronda Rousey in our corner. Team Rousey into the final. A big opportunity right now. Can we win? Number two pick in the Ultimate Fighter. We've gone all the way through to the final. And here's a few things it says. We'll take the UFC by storm. It's recently burst onto the scene. We are MMA practitioner. And uh, hopefully we can use some of that MMA ability to win this one. It's going to be a tough opponent though. There's no doubt about that. But I think we're ready. We've had a number of submission victories thus far. And our previous episode, we used the rear naked choke to our advantage. Both times, turning the rear naked choke into the armbar and forcing the tap out. Will we see the same right now? Or will we see something a little bit different? It is the South Korean man, Young Lim, from Pohang, South Korea. This should be a very, very good one. No doubt about that. The final. And the stakes are so high. So here's what to expect from Man Young Lim. He is trained in judo, a great ground and pound, and he's won eight of his last nine fights. So really the tale of the tape is, don't go down to the ground, otherwise you could be in some trouble. Eight out of his last nine, he is very, very good, no doubt about that. Similar in uh, weight and reach. Well, Man Young Lim actually has the advantage in reach, but Place has the advantage in weight. So very, very similar match opponents here tonight so here we go this one is about to get underway and these two touch gloves here we go the final of the element fighter plays already landing four or five blows right there to limb and another one a couple more now look at him go he's just landing blow after blow well man limb is not defending oh he's got him there and he's taking him down man limb is down and it is gonna be all over Lim has been knocked out and very, very quickly. Well, he just didn't defend, did he? Just did not block any of those shots. Plays was landing blow after blow, and it was only so long that he could take that damage for. And the left hand right on the button. Here it was. Missed that one, but he got him right there. And down he went. And Plays actually probably thought he was out right there, but he had to finish him off and right there right on the nose knocked down and he finished him off so well there you go that was a little bit underwhelming I thought this was going to be an epic long fight but place has made quick work of Lim and has won the ultimate fighter very very convincingly he's relied on the submissions now the knockout the KO victory and he wins the ultimate fighter well, what a victory, and that is a perfect start, really, to your UFC career. I mean, what a statement to make, you know, to win by KO in front of the entire world. It, it's a perfect start, really, let's be honest. That is a perfect dream start, exactly what we would have wanted. So now we've got a big, big future ahead, and uh, here is exactly what happened at the end here. So that's... We saw ourselves against Reed in the quarters, quarterfinals, Gardner in the semis, Lim in the final, and we picked up the victory. And there's a trophy as well on the rise, so that's just a little, little extra bonus for us as well. So congratulations on winning this season on the Ultimate Fighter. Now that you're in the UFC, keep an eye on your longevity as you get into the deep waters of your career. Your longevity will affect how long you can stick around, count the effects of longevity, and extend your retirement by gaining fans. So. I guess the more fights we win, the more fans we get, the longer we'll stick around. So a popularity game, we made a funny joke. Well, I don't know, that does that sound like me? I don't know. But anyways, another trophy there again. And now we have to view our next fight offers. And really, we are basically starting off our career right now. 
So there it is, our little stats after one fight. So, pretty positive start, let's be honest. And there is our championship victory, the ultimate fighter tournament. We have taken it out. Fantastic. And we had now 10,000 fans as well, nearly 11,000 fans to our name. So it's a strong start, a solid start to our career. And really the perfect start. I mean, if we had lost that one, it just would have been a, a bad precedent for the rest of our career, let's be honest. But uh, a big, big victory. And hopefully we can keep it going from here. And now we have to choose our next opponent, our first opponent for the start of our career beyond the Ultimate Fighter. So a few options here. We've got House, we've got Green, and we've got Seo. Um, Green's more of a boxer, so we'll probably go with him in this one. And uh, we might be able to take him down to the ground and try and tap him out. And uh, we need to try and focus on training up and utilizing that. So obviously we get a bit of a boost up if we do train in clinch. So on this one, we're going to be training clinch today. And we're going to training in our takedown, our takedown offense to try and improve it. So here we go. So mainly, mainly here we need to try and get as many takedowns as we can. I found this kind of a little bit difficult. You know, obviously he's always trying to block it and, and uh, can be quite often difficult to take him down in this little uh, training drill but uh, I think the best way to do it is kind of clinch him and then use a single leg takedown is probably the best way that I found the most success doing it and uh, we're gonna go for another takedown five seconds to go we will get him it looks like we're gonna get the two takedowns here only score 300 points it probably won't be enough for an A ranking oh we nearly had him there we just need another three or four seconds and we probably had him We'll take the B ranking. I mean, it's good enough for now. We'll take it. And as we improve our takedown ability, we will try and go back for an A ranking on this one. So, like I said last episode, if we can get the B rankings, that's fine. Now, obviously, A would be better to get the most out of our training camp. But you can't always get an A. But once you do get one A, so if you keep trying over and over, once you do get the one A, you can always keep simulating over and over. So last time we did this, we got a B ranking. Let's see if we can try and boost that up to an A. So it is the heavy bag again, and obviously the objective here is to strike in the yellow zone, the glowing yellow zone, and try not to, and try not to run out of gas while you do it. So uh, we're just trying to use uh, some big, heavy shots here, some more powerful strikes to... Do as much damage as we possibly can. We've scored over a thousand here. We're on fire. We surely we should get the A ranking this time. Really, really good. 1300 score. We've blown it out of the park. We only needed 800. We've got ourselves 1300. So that's a big, big win and an A ranking to our name. We definitely needed that. And that will uh, help us. Well, we're coming up against a boxer. So we obviously need to have some pretty good stand up ability. Otherwise, we could get ourselves caught. So we're going to try and improve this time our leg power on the heavy bag again and the same thing again we have to try and strike this time with our legs in the yellow zone and uh, I think the legs are a little bit more difficult to target often sometimes I mean I've had experience where it doesn't quite target where you want it to target you know you try and hit below the bag and sometimes it'll go up or vice versa so at the moment doing okay but obviously kicking does a lot more um, to your stamina, so it takes a lot more out of you to kick, so we can try and get ourselves a 600, we do, and that will be a B rank, so we'll take that, 600, I think that one's a bit more of a difficult one, I, I gotta say, but uh, 600 will take it, so, alrighty, so we are ready to fight once again, we've taken up our power and our takedown ability, it is improved, and now we have our big, big fight, our first big fight, and it is coming up against green. We are on the bottom of the card, as you can see. That's where we're going to be for a while. But hey, it won't be long until we start to improve. And one day, perhaps we are in that main event. So we're coming up against green. He's ranked 49. We're ranked 51. And a heavyweight bout. Big, big opportunity for us right now to start off our career with a couple of victories to our name. And we're coming out into the octagon right now. With a lot of confidence, there's no doubt about that. Obviously, winning our first fight in, what, 25 seconds. That is a huge victory. And that's obviously going to really, really give us the boost. So we've got good punching power. And we are, of course, MMA practitioner. And we'll say 
We say that we'll take the UFC by storm. I think we will. I think we will take the UFC by storm. Good luck trying to stop us after that last fight. I mean, obviously, our opponent Green is going to be a boxer here tonight. So he might not go down as quickly as uh, Lim did. But if we can replicate that again, then who knows. Pip Green from London, England. So another Englishman here tonight. Well, what happened to Max Gardner? Not too much. So I think... Uh, We'll probably be able to replicate something similar here tonight. Maybe another submission victory would be the key. That's what we use to get rid of Gardner. Perhaps we need to try and do that again. So he's got a boxing background. He's won six fights in a row. Nine of his last 11 fights he has won. So he's got a very impressive record. We have a massive reach advantage on him though. And a four kilogram weight advantage as well. So that's obviously going to really, really help us out. Going to be able to strike him from quite a distance away. And uh, considering he is a boxer, that's going to be a very, very difficult disadvantage for him to try and overcome here. So hopefully we can use that reach advantage, use it in our favor to try and take him down. We've got a 1-0 record right now, looking for 2-0. And, oh. and uh, we are, of course, fighting out of Australia. So here we go. This is going to be a big contest. Hyping up our first fight beyond the Ultimate Fighter, coming up against Pip Green. So nine wins, three losses. So that's uh, not a bad record at all. He's obviously got a fair bit of talent and ability. So we'll see if we can beat him here tonight. This one is underway. Let's go. Green versus Plays. Straight away, Plays lands a big right hand there. And that time over the top again. And a couple more shots there. So Green quite quickly learning about this reach advantage he gets a couple of blows there and evades so green might have to try and rely on some quickness and, and speed here to try and evade some of these shots here but plays is landing a few right there very very impressive landing a few shots there and rocking green slightly green trying to hit back with a few more shots there gets one to the body there a couple more body shots there and now went going for the kick but whilst he's trying to do that plays is just relentless he's just Unleashing with those shots. A big kick again to Green. Not taking him down though. And oh, lands another big right shot there on the nose. That's exactly what he used to beat Lim. Except it was the left hand. This time plays. It's just unleashing. But you can see he's just running out of gas a little bit. Trying to do a little bit too much here. Goes for the spinning back fist. And Green lands a big kick. Well, wow, Plays is in trouble now. He might have to revert back to perhaps going for the submission here. I'm trying to take him down because Green is on top of him right now in terms of the stand-up. And a big right hand. Nice hook there. And lands a few more. Another left. So Plays is trying his best to take down Green. And he's going to be persistent. He does not want to take him to the ground. He wants to try and keep going pound for pound, blow for blow up the... On their feet here, and he's landing. These, this reach advantage is really benefiting him now. And now Green is trying to take him to the ground. Play is deciding against it. Now might be looking for a back mount here and going from behind. We've seen the rear naked choke a few times. We're about to see it again here. Green might be in some trouble. And now the armbar. It is locked in. Here we go again. The armbar is in, and Green is in a lot of trouble. This is where you do not want to be against plays here we go can green fight out of this and he's getting it locked in even further he's almost got it in green trying to hang on for dear life but i think plays is gonna get it and he has green has to tap out and plays wins his second fight his first one by ko the second via submission and 2-0 here in the UFC. What a start to the career for, for plays here. And, well, he tried to stand up. He tried to just take, take him down with those strikes. And I think he was getting a bit of an advantage towards the end. He was just landing a few extra shots thanks to his reach advantage. And Green, I think, panicked, tried to take him to the ground. And it did not work out at all for him because plays was able to get behind. I thought he was going to go for the rear naked choke. He didn't get it. Instead, he had to decide. To, he decided to go for another submission hold, and that's his other go-to. It is the arm bar, and it worked out so well for him, picking up the win. So Green will need to learn from his mistake there. Plays, picks up another win, two and zero now in the UFC. What a victory for us!
and we win by submission so we can keep this up we might be going up in the rankings by a long way a bit of a winning streak would be fantastic so we won't bite off too more too much more than we can chew at the moment two and i we're happy with that and another good submission victory let's see if we can try and win a few more fights in the next few episodes here in ufc 2 career mode is the rest of the night we didn't get the uh fight of the night or the ko of the night or submission of the night we didn't get any of that as per usual i mean we're not really going to get many of those awards for a while but uh there's our fans up to twenty-seven thousand, and we've got ourselves evolution points to spend for next time guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode